Um, can I, I'm going to run through you XHProf tonight. Can I just ask who's using PHP here? A few people. Who's done some profiling with PHP before? A few. Has anyone used XHProf before? Only one person. It always, it always surprises. Oh, two. It always surprises me whenever I ask that question because it's, it's, um, it's a really useful tool, and um, not many people have used it. So what I'm going to do is quickly run you through installing it, how to configure it, and then give you a demo of the sorts of data that you can get out of it. I'm not going to go too, too much into actually performance enhancements, but more show you um, what you can use to find the data. Um, okay. So installing is very easy. Uh, if you've got pair on your system, you just need to do a pair upgrade. Um, and then once you've done that, it's a, it's a Peckle install. So you need to be careful to use the dash F flag because it's still in beta. It's not at uh, 1.0 yet. So that will allow you to install it. And once that's there, you've just got to add the extension to your PHP any files. So if, you, if you're planning on profiling command line stuff, you also need to make sure it's getting picked up from um, from the relevant PHP innies. And then when that's in there, you've got to just restart Apache and you're, you're good to go. Another thing you need to do is install the GraphViz library, which is it's used later on and you'll, you'll get to see that. Um, I use Linux. It's very easy to install that stuff. Probably is on, on a Mac as well. I'm not sure about Windows, if, if anyone is doing that. Uh, now, to complete the install, uh, basically, what we've just done is installed the PHP extension, and that's going to give you raw data, but there's not much you can do with it. So what you need to do is install a, a, a GUI tool so that you can um, look at it and it makes sense. So um, Facebook's put their, their code up on GitHub. You can clone it down. So, and then once you've got it down, you've got, basically got to create a database and create some tables. You can, if, if you know what you're doing, you can just look at the code and that's pretty straightforward. It's, it's, um, you can use whatever you want, Postgres, MySQL, um, whatever. Um, it's not a problem. And then you've got to go through and adjust the, the config in there. They provide you a sample, so basically just save one as um, config.php, put in your, your database credentials, um, and you're good to go. So what we've done so far, install the, the PHP modules, um, set up the, the website so we're going to look at the, the profiling data. And so all you need to do is just tell your PHP scripts to start, um, start collecting the data. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's, just, there's two PHP method calls you need, xhprof enable and xhprof disable. There's not much to it. So if, when you start with the enable, you basically pass in some flags on what you want to collect. So things like CPU, um, wall time, all those things you just pass in and it configures it. Um, so just say you've got a website and you want to want to profile it. Um, usually what you want to do is just leave it on and, and set and forget sort of style. Um, XHProf's lightweight enough so that you can run it in production. You can have it on your dev servers, local host. You, you're not really going to notice the difference. So it's, it's safe enough to just leave on and collect the data. The easiest way to do it um, is either site-wide, like across the whole system in your, P your global PHP any, or um, if you've got several sites and you're only interested in some of them, do it in your HT access or your Nginx config or whatever. And you, and you do that usually by, by um, setting the auto prepend file and auto append file. And uh, basically what that does is just append some PHP code to the start and the footer, like the end of every execution. So you can put whatever you want in those files, and I'll, I'll show you um, an example in a second. Here, uh, can you see that? It's probably a little bit small. I'll, I'll send out, put an email out, and you can have a look at the code. But, but essentially, you've got the header up here, which just turns it on with the flags to collect CPU and memory. And in the footer there, um, what it's doing is including the files that you've cloned down previously. So it's, it's the libraries that, that Facebook put, have put out. And then what you do is register a shutdown function. So when your script's finished executing, it will, it will call the xhprof disable, which, which gets you the, um, the profile data and then um, stores it to the database. Um, so now 
we've, we're filling up our databases, we're using, using the system, now it comes time to interpreting it. Um, this GUI tool was released in 2009, so it, it looks dated. If you look at the code, you'll notice that it's pretty horrible. Uh, but the thing is, it works really well. Um, there's a few, other, few others that are worth noting. Um, XHProf.io is quite new. It's, it's using kind of modern techniques and, and looks a lot better. But I don't it hasn't reached feature parity yet. And XH GUI is, is an active project um, which stores it not in MySQL but in Mongo. So you can actually query the data in a lot more uh, effective ways. But all of these are available on GitHub. Uh, so now I'll give you a quick demo um, ho to hopefully inspire you to install this extension. So what we can do, I'll just bring this across. Uh, you run a tool, uh, has anyone heard of Siege? Uh, it's, it's like a command line tool. You can basically set up a text file of URLs it, doing gets or posts or whatever you want and replay that against your server. So you can, you can basically just throw sort of artificial traffic at it. So you can kick, kick something like that off and it's um, concurrently 25 users um, cycling through this text file of URL. So it's essentially creating artificial traffic on your site. Um, so that you can set it to run for however long you want. It's, it's a pretty good tool. Uh, download it, install it. Um, and now I'll show you what that's actually done. Uh, if I can find my... I think I must be in full screen. So here is, like I've set up a virtual host which, which maps to the, direct, the code that I've just cloned. It's straightforward enough. But here you can see, um, this is the XH GUI. Across the top you can filter um, which domains you're interested in. So if you're doing it across your whole you know, fleet of sites, you can, you can narrow into it. Um, You've got the hardest hit today, the past week, most expensive, most RAM, longest running. So pretty much all the things you're interested in, you can just click on, um, okay, most RAM today, for example. And here you can see um, these are the URLs um, by peak memory usage. You can sort all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, th there's not really time to go into the details here. I really want to just show you what, what you can do. So here, what it's done is plotted out um, the, those metrics over time. So as you're developing, you can, you can basically see if your changes are um, making an impact or not. Um, and probably down here, you can see all the individual runs and clicking, click into one and you get this nice summary to say, okay, um, you know, most of the time within other, you can't really classify it. It's kind of general. Um, and, it, and it breaks it all down Hopefully you install it and you can have a look at this in more detail. But the killer feature for me that I love um, is this view call graph. And that's what uses the GraphViz um, library that I mentioned before. If you click on that, what it does is it, it'll probably take a second. But it's broken down the execution of that code into uh, a big chart. So you can, you can basically visualize how it's executing and you, you can get, really get some really good insights from that. Um, so I mean that's that's relatively complicated, <laughs> and you can see, you know, it, it highlights uh, the main execution points, and um, I think that one's probably crashed the computer. It's a little bit too big, but yeah, I mean it's 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 a really useful thing to just look at it from a different angle. You know, sometimes things jump out that you wouldn't have even considered before, and um, yeah, you can get some good insights. So. I th that's pretty much about all I had to cover anyway. It's, it's an awesome tool, easy to get up and running, and you should use it. So, thanks.